Hey there, a couple quick thoughts. If you're not following me on Twitter, I would highly recommend it. A lot of my thoughts go down on Twitter, and I experiment with a lot of concepts there. So check that out. This morning, one of the things I tweeted, oh, and it's at George Bruno on Twitter. One of the things I tweeted this morning was about never compete with another man for a woman. You never want to get into that whole competition thing. I have the same idea when it comes to business, to dominate but not compete. And I've entitled this talk, How to Dominate a Woman. And I know what some people are going to be thinking already. They're going to think one of two things. One, the whole domination thing, the tying people up kind of Fifty Shades of Grey. Sorry to disappoint you. That's not what I'm talking about. And then, of course, the feminists are going to say, dominating, you want to make a marital slave. You want to be a marital... Uh, what would be the word? Like a dictator. Sorry. <laughs> nice try, but neither one of those things. How to dominate a woman. Domination. If you compete with men, you're always looking over your shoulder. Always. Don't compete. It's like a runner. Three people running in a lane. Four people running in a lane around a track. The person who is leading, his biggest concern is getting to the finish line and also is someone creeping up behind me who's going to pass me. When you compete, your mind is always on the other person. All women that are worthy have a number of men courting. They're courting for their attention. Whether it be taking them out for coffee, dinner, calling them, texting them, whatever. Most women do. Most women have choices. And the last thing you want to do is focus on the other men. What I want you to do is to dominate that woman. And by dominating, what I mean is this. Is that you are creating a life for yourself where there is no competition at all. No competition, which means that even if you are lower on a socioeconomic scale and the other guy or guys vying for her time are doctors, lawyers, high-paid professionals, many times that makes a man feel like he doesn't stand a chance. And let me show you how you can stand a chance. You live your life in abundance, in joy, happiness, You're, you are content, and you invite her into your domain, which, think about it, a domain is a kingdom, the domain of the king. What you're not doing is becoming a dictator, what you're not doing is becoming bossy, what you are doing is inviting her into your domain. That is dominating, but it's not tying up. It's not being a cruel master. It's inviting her in to live in the, in the realm in which you are a king. What woman wouldn't want to be part of that? If you are in charge of yourself, you're pursuing excellence, you invite her in. If she walks forward, walks towards you, it's a no-brainer. If she doesn't, all the work in the world that you do will not draw her in. Think about it. Don't you want a willing partner? Don't you want someone who wants to be part of your life and vice versa? That's kind of the neat thing about dominating somebody. Dominate the woman. Don't compete with other men for that woman. That was a thought that I had today. What are your thoughts? I'd like to see them down below. Back to Chopin. Mm -hmm.